hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's hey guys so welcome back to my channel so today's video is actually going to be a my like flawless face routine so like highlighting baking contouring foundation i figured i'd just do a talk through with this video so yeah if you guys want to see how i do it then i guess we could just get started so I'm going to start off with primer and I've been jumping back and forth between a lot of different ones but um, for today I'm going to use the Maybelline Baby Skin one and this is super great for your pores. I've been jumping between this one and the Smashbox primer water so like just to get a little bit and focus it in my T-zone where I need it the most. Okay for foundation I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Super Stay one. Um, I actually really like this one and the Too Faced Bonus Swipe. I actually ran out of the Too Faced one and I'm running out of this one, so we'll see how this goes. I don't think I'm getting it. And then I like to blend it in with the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. And I kind of just start at my jawline and drag down. And then just kind of like, you know, like tap it and like drag it a little bit. I don't really, I haven't been buffing lately. Just because I, I don't know, it's been irritating my skin. And I find I get the most coverage this way. Okay, next for concealer, I've been jumping between a lot of different concealers lately. <laughs> like, basically every product I've mentioned, like, I'm jumping between these, you know? So, for right now, I actually recently rediscovered this. I had it in my collection, and it was always too dark for me for the longest time, but, uh, you know, a uh, fake tan now, so it works. So today, it's the um, Maybelline Super Stay 24 Hour Concealer. I've been jumping between this one and then the um, NYX DHD Concealer. So this concealer actually, surprisingly, is actually kind of light on me, now that I self tan. So I'm going to put it under my eyes and around my nose. This applicator hurts, it's like, I don't know. Boom, now we look like an, a, a hot mess. That's cool because we love looking like this. Next so we're going to go back in with the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and I'm just going to blend everything in. You're so amazed. It just looks so flawless and natural with this brush. Wow, my Chicago accent is really popping out in this video. Like I was saying earlier with this contour, you kind of have to like dab it, and then to blend it, you kind of have to like blend up, blend down, dab down, dab it up, you know, just kind of go back and forth and just dab it until it's blended to your desired coverage, or coverage to your desired like look. So now I'm actually going to bake, and normally I don't do this, it's just like a recently it's a new technique that I have kind of discovered, and it actually has been making my makeup stay on a lot longer than it normally would. Um, I tested out the other day at work, I like baked half my face, and I left the other half of my face just normal, and this half of my face lasted so much longer than the other half. So um, for baking I've actually been using the Airspun powder, which you can find at Walgreens for like $8. It's fairly inexpensive and it works really well. Most people just complain about the scent of it. Personally, I kind of like it. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. It just kind of smells like roses. That's it. Oof. Water. I love using the Real Techniques sponge. This is a completely dry one that I like to use for it and I have to get like quite a bit of powder. I don't be afraid to go like quite heavy with it. And just like... It's 
Normally I don't do this, so I just kind of put it on my eyes. Call it a day, but since I want to keep my areas quite highlighted. And I never actually do this, but my sister told me like to do it. She said she loves doing it. So, um, baking under your contour. I've never done this before, but apparently it makes it really sharp and nice. I know tons of YouTubers do it. Personally, I've never done it. So we are just gonna let this bake for about, honestly, people do 10 minutes. I don't think 10 minutes is necessary. I think maybe five minutes. I do it for five minutes and it's good. Every time I do it for 10 minutes, it's, my face looks extremely cakey, like, oh honey, you need to go take care of that. So I'm just gonna look like a freak for a while, look like I don't know how to do my makeup, and I will just go do my eyes and my eyebrows and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so it was a lot longer than five minutes, a lot longer than 10 minutes. We're just gonna pretend it was around five, 10 minutes ago. So I'm just gonna be taking this e.l.f. blush brush. I never use things for what they're supposed to be meant for. So I'm gonna take this and I'm really gonna like buff it off. A lot of people just kinda like wipe it off like that. No, I find it still looks really cakey. You really have to like buff off the excess because a lot of it likes to cling. Like if you have dry skin, uh, um, a lot of it will cling. If you have dry skin, I highly suggest either not doing this method or really finding a powder because to do it with because um, well baking you're just basically letting all this powder soak into your skin um, and it's gonna really cling to dry skin so it's gonna look really like kind of gross and disgusting you just really have to find the powder for you um, a tip I have I actually did have that problem that's why I wasn't baking for the longest time one thing that I always did is I put a really thick moisturizer on so normally the moisturizers you would use at night I put on during or before my makeup and it just kind of soaked in and it really actually made my bake look really good and I was actually able to bake it. All right, so next it's time um, for blush. I've been loving the Hot Mama Flush by The Balm. Today I'm using the Real Techniques Blush Brush. And I'm just applying that to my cheeks. Next I'm going in with my Anastasia Contour Kit, not the cream one, just the regular contour one. And I like to take the middle shade, which is basically the powder form of the shade I, the cream one I use. I kind of just like to put this on top, buff it on top, and this is going to help set it. I like to use Mary Luminizer. I've been loving this one lately. Um, and I'm using the Sigma High Cheekbone Highlighter Brush, the FO3. This is actually a really funny story. I never ordered this brush, but Sigma messed up my order. So um, there's this discount, like if you sign up, you get like 10% off or something like that. And so I signed up, I never got the email. I placed my order after, I'm like, okay, fine. I, I don't really need the 10% off. I placed my order and the email came in 10 minutes later. And I was kind of like, okay, that's a little weird. So I contacted Sigma. Okay, I'm just gonna put this on the high points of my face. So I contacted Sigma and they said, and I like to do the arch of my brow. They were like, oh, sorry, that was our mistake. We'll just, I guess, send you another brush. And um, it was funny because this order, it, it kind of took a while to get, just because I ordered it around Christmas time, so it took a while for it to get to me. And I didn't know what brush they were gonna give me. And it was really funny, because I'm like, oh, I didn't order this, okay. But honestly, I love this brush, it's amazing. So I like to take a little bit of that and put it on my Cupid's bow. But another thing that I've recently been doing is I like to put it on the side of my lip. Right there, so the cupid's bow on the side. And when you put your lipstick on, it's gonna make your lips like so that's the, my completed foundation flawless face routine. I hope you guys really like it. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to comment down below what you guys want to see next. Um, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And I guess I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.